G'day ladies and gents, Cubic Media here on the Wavetech server where we're going to attempt the impossible of building the end pillar obsidian farm in survival. Now this is going to be a monumental challenge that I reckon is worthy of having its own video. When designing a farm in creative, of course, you have access to unlimited resources, the ability to fly around in all the nooks and crannies of the machine, as well as access to helpful commands to save you when things go wrong. However, in survival, of course, we have all the limitations of a survival player. And taking a design from creative and actually implementing it in survival requires a lot of planning, skill, and forward thinking. For example, we don't even know what to expect with our east end pillar to begin with. So I'm here in creative on a copy of the Wavetech survival server to find out what the east end pillar looks like. So let's go ahead and start the ritual. And the moment our pillar generates, we'll cancel it. Okay, that's interesting. It's not quite the smallest end pillar, it's actually the next pillar up. In fact, it's quite fortunate that Wavetech got this particular end pillar. Because there's something interesting we can do. My first prototype of the end pillar obsidian farm actually uses the smallest pillar which looks like this. We have the wither positioned in the corner like so. Meaning when the pillar generates, it generates right next to the wither, and the wither will only break 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 obsidian. However, with this profile, we can position the wither in here, and then break 24 obsidian. However, this also means that the wither will be fully encased in obsidian when the end pillar generates. And this presents a slight issue. If our wither takes suffocation damage by being fully encased in the obsidian, it will start shooting blue skulls in all directions at random. And this happens specifically if the wither is hurt more than once within a certain time interval. However, for the farm that we'll be building on Wavetech, there is a really elegant solution for this, which is to damage the wither with an arrow shot by a dispenser before the end pillar generates. This is timed perfectly such that the end pillar generates in the exact same instant that the wither performs its block breaking attack. As a result, the wither doesn't get damaged too quickly and does not shoot blue skulls in random directions. We've also gone ahead and compactified all the wither cages such that we're able to fit more in a smaller space. This means we are now harvesting over 600,000 obsidian per hour. This is only half the challenge though, as we now need to implement it in survival. Well, a good start is to go ahead and look at the schematic. Here it is. So this is where the farm will be built in our end dimension. With the schematic loaded, I can go ahead and look at the materials list. Unfortunately, some of the Wavetech minions have gone ahead and prepared some of the materials already. And some resources that we don't actually have farms for yet, some of the members came up with creative solutions for, such as this Wither Skeleton Farm in order to get the Wither Skulls. Now this simply has to be as ghetto as things get. And then of course, because the Obsidian Farm will need End Crystals to run, JK went ahead and made the most insane gas farm in the entire universe. This is a Y0 platform with sliced nether portals spawning gas like absolutely crazy. And just to get an idea of how crazy this gas farm is, let's go ahead over to the overworld side, which is right over there. And oh my god. Ow, there goes my ears. Ow. Ugh. Turn that down. Jesus. Yeah, so all we need is a little bit of end crystals in order to run the obsidian farm, and of course, this is JKM's response. The guy's an absolute madman, but hey, at least we're gonna have enough gas tears to make all the end crystals. And finally, to get our lava buckets. We just head to the closest lava lake and let loose scooping up. Alright Zen, how many shock boxes do you have? 
I had 13 in there in the chest. I have 12. 12 plus 13 is 25. 25. Okay, we have plenty of shulker boxes. Of... We have a couple extra. Alright, we're not going to Brazil. We're going to main storage. And then go through the end portal. Yes. There we go. All of the lava buckets. And then we need water buckets too. No silly, we just use ice. I did make this fortune pick for a reason. Alright, the uh, the obsidian farm has been running on the creative copy for some time now. Maybe let's go check on it. Yeah, moment of truth. It's still running, it's fine. Oh, It hasn't blown up? Nope, it's good. Cool. Alright. We are fully confident that the farm is stable and works reliably. And with all the resources together, let's get started with the build.
my goodness, now that was a grind. Also, that might be a problem. The farm is fully set up, and the schematic has been fully verified. We had to be very careful making sure that every aspect of the farm was absolutely perfect. Because the next stage of the project is to build the withers. And this is most certainly going to be the most stressful part. The cages have been set up meticulously with our boat and a minecart properly aligned as well as everything needed to keep the wither contained as it forms. I'm here with Zen. Both of us have thoroughly practiced the procedure for building the withers. How are you feeling about it, Zen? Uh, I don't really care. I'll get it done. <laughs> You're not scared you might stuff up? Not really. Although I probably shouldn't be jinxing you. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Yes, yeah, so you must remember the crucial details. Skull bucket, bucket, button. Yeah, this is all we need to know. This will be our gospel. So here we begin the process. We go skull, bucket, and then hide from the wither. We'll put a button here while we're waiting. Once the wither is formed, we need to get rid of that bucket, hide from the wither, make sure there are some arrows in this dispenser, hit the button, and we've just formed our very first wither cage. My goodness, that was stressful. All right, one wither down, 52 more to go. And as I am working on the bottom layer, I've got Zen working on the top layer. And eventually, we will meet in the middle. Uh, this one didn't fire. Oh, because I didn't put arrows in it. Yes, you have to put the arrows in the dispenser. That would make good sense. Oh. Bucket. Hide. The scariest one is when the wither's facing towards the wall you're hiding behind. Oh no. Oh, what's happened? Wither got out. Fuck. Oh man. <laughs> That's not good. You just want right. to try execute it and redo? No, I cannot kill that wither without. I've got an axe on me. What level is it? Nope. It's gonna kill me. Yeah, it's out, it's out. Okay, we need a lot of backup. So what on earth went wrong there? If we have a look at the replay, we can see that this minecart is not quite up against this ender chest. So when I go ahead and damage the wither, the minecart just drops straight to the floor because it's no longer sitting on top of that slab. However, if we look at the exact moment that minecart was dropped into the system during the build, we can clearly see that it's properly aligned to the ender chest. And skipping all the way to the end of the build time lapse, we can see that the minecart is still perfectly aligned and also fully enclosed inside of blocks. There's so some time between the farm being built and the withers being put in, some of the carts must have been bumped by something. And I have a distinct feeling that that something starts with E. Alright, all the carts have been properly aligned and we double, triple, quadruple checked that they're perfectly aligned. So hopefully, second time's a charm. Alright, are you ready, Zen? Yes, I am very ready. Let's go.
okay, yeah, first cycle's useless. Second cycle should do it. Go, okay, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Yep, All right. sitting. Looks like it's working. Yes, fucking works. Yeah, uh, I need to open the props. Yeah, uh, we built an obsidian farm. Okay. Holy shit. The obsidian farm is completed and fully functioning in survival. Of course, in a matter of hours, we have almost completely filled up this temporary bulk storage with boxes of obsidian. However, it turns out there are other things that this farm produces apart from obsidian. Oh yes, and stone farm, let's go. It's taking oh, what, a farm. three days to build this farm and we can finally have renewable end stone. Yeah, that's what we built this for. Yep, exactly. Yes, this is this is the farm that One we have built at Wavetech. Even Huntoon's using it. Wow, it's approved. <laughs> Either that or like show the torches being, uh, being like, oh shoot. Oh yes, I, I, I forgot about the even better part of this farm. It's it's also a torch farm. I just I've already got two stacks and fifty one torches. Thank you, big you need some torches. Oh my god, I got you. We've, we've already almost got nine shulker boxes of obsidian. Yeah, cubic, you want you want some torches? So this farm actually does my like farm a bunch of things that you wouldn't think would be farmable. Yeah, pretty much. What? Oh, yes! How is this only regenerating one pillar? Um, so we're cutting off the animation. Yeah, we're, we're cancelling the ritual. So the ritual only, like, it summons, like, one pillar at a time. Oh, you're right. That's so cool. You think if I get the first spyglass on the server and look where the ender dragon's supposed to spawn, it'll give me the achievement? What achievement? The one for looking at the Ender Dragon with the Spyglass. Oh. Um, I mean, the Ender Dragon is not really spawning. It does spawn, like, super far away, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not looking. This is the one I used to crash the server, like, three times with. <laughs> Please don't crash the server right now. Alright, all shenanigans aside, this Obsidian Farm will be a powerful asset to the WaveTech server. As you might know, we are quite fond of Portal Tech. This obsidian will be needed for a range of upcoming projects. To keep up to date with the WaveTech server, be sure to join our Discord, and if you feel like it, support us on Patreon. In fact, the first 52 people who join our Patreon will get to name a wither. Of course, the game will only show the name of 6 withers at a time. However, the order of the boss bars is actually randomised every single time you load the end dimension. So this is a perfect opportunity to get you guys involved. All funding from the Patreon goes towards the Wavetech server, and if we get enough of it, we can do things like upgrading the servers and even opening up a Wavetech Patreon server. So that'll be all for this video, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.